What's happening, fam? LAR Movement Still Moving, book and title, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father, Amazon Kindle Create Space. The Unprotected Protected Group. You know, all, all the bullshit that just passed had me thinking about something because people like using the We're Protected Group uh, <laughs> concept. And it's like, okay, let's get to it. When somebody's a protected group, and they're unprotected, right? Because it's kind of like throwing stones behind the front line soldiers. See, when you 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 you're agitating somebody because you're thinking that the people in front of you are gonna protect you. When see, here's the problem with that. You're supposed to be a protected group. When people are, are um, how can I say this? You're supposed to be a protected group when people are attacking you for no reason. In a way, it's an oxymoron because the same group that's protecting you is the group that was fucking you up in the first place. So you're really an unprotected, protected group. You really walked. Oh, you really walked into the arms of the enemy that was killing you for protection. Not when when you get over there, you're like, "Oh, they gonna fuck me up, huh?" Oh shit! Cause see, the idea that the enemy of my enemy is my friend breeds this situation where you're asking your enemy for protection against what you feel is your enemy. And just because you feel like you you have a common enemy, you're only friends until that common enemy is, I guess, squashed or squelched or destroyed. After that, you went from being uh, the group under their protection to the group in their servitude. Kind of like a protected, an unprotected protected group would have been Slave catchers. You know, oh, 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 as long as y'all go out catching these other folks, bringing these folks to us, we got you back. We got you back. Ah, we running a little low on people. Catch the, go catch them catchers. Because you working for the very people <laughs> that um that, that have a business in destroying you. So you made a lot of money catching slaves, and then your ass got caught. And they took the money and you. And got paid off for you, too. You know, karma's a bitch. You know, um... When... When a business takes over another business, you know, they buy... You know, they, they, they buy another business and then they become a subsidiary. You know, like, like, you know, BET was bought, like, BET, MTV, bought by Viacom, right? You know, just like black publications and black businesses are bought by bigger corporations and, and entities. And what happens then? The product isn't, goes to shit in the view of the black people that, that, that build it and, and serviced it and maintained it and said, yo, this is our shit. Now, when these other people bought it, and you bought it to, you know, because you thought they were gonna, sorry, take you to a to a higher place and a higher level, and all, they just screwed you. So now, your baby or your business that you built that you probably could pass down to your children, and now you can't, um, because you you're locked out of your own creation. The um. The people that you used to hire, that their families depended on you and your creation and, and its income, they're fired for other people to, to take those spots and that income. The group that the, the the same group that bought your business that was gonna maintain it and protect you, you know, make you look good. Now they're making you look like a complete utter dumbass. You know, same thing. You know, when 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 companies go public on stocks, you know. Uh, 
You can't. They might try. They might um, buy up your business to run it into the ground for because they have because they may be your competition in some way, shape, or form, and you didn't did not know that. You know what I mean? So, you know, you're unprotected by the protected group. You know, and of course, I'm using these analogies because of these quote unquote shenanigans that have went on, right? Because to be a protected group, you're not supposed to go around fucking with people. So when you go around fucking with people, waiting for your protection to come through. Um, your protection is not going to help you because your protection was supposed to protect you from unwarranted issues, not you instigating issues. So, you know, so now you're unprotected, protected group. And then, you know, it's kind of like big brother, little brother. Everybody's scared of big brother. So what little brother does is go out and just kick up dust everywhere. You know who my big brother is? You know who my big brother is? Give me this goddamn candy. You know my big brother beat your ass. And then little brother seems to forget that big brother has to fight all of these battles. And then little brother becomes, starts to build a reputation of being a shit starter. A shit starter that he won't he won't back up his shit because his biggest line to win a fight or possible fight is, you know who my big brother is? See, big brother's out here, you know, fucking taking heads like the Highlander while little brothers, you know, just allow him out. And then one day big brother says, you know what? I'm tired of protecting you. They little brother fair game. You can handle your own fights. You, ha you know, take care of your own responsibilities. You wanted to steal these people's stuff. You wanted to run these people. You fight these people. And then little brother's like shocked, like, wait, 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 wait. This is not the plan. The plan was that I start shit. You beat up people, and I walk away scot free like nothing ever happened. And you keep getting you in the fights. Then big brother says, you know, the problem with that is. Everybody wants to kick my ass now and jump me just to put me down long enough to beat your ass. See, these people don't dislike me. They don't hate me because I'm your big brother. They understand I have to protect my little brother. Well, so if I get my head cracked, if somebody, you know, Tanya hardened me and hit me in the knee with a crowbar, then I know it's because of your ass. So, since you bringing me problems, you need to handle your own damn problems. And then, all of a sudden, little brother who picks those fights, starts to have a little bit more humility. Starts to have manners. And after a few ass whoopings getting punched in the face 262 times, and people stomping them out, you know, pushing their face in a mud puddle, you know, you know about 57 kicks in the nuts, Little brother's like, damn, I, I didn't cause a lot of trouble out here. These people don't like me, huh? And after, you know, self-reflection, you're sitting in the hospital like Ricky Bobby, you come to the idea that I'm not that protected because of my own issues. And, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> this is what keeps happening. Because, think about it. Look at America now. Oh, white people were the protected group. Now they feel unprotected. Gay, the gay, the gay community, it was a protected group. Now they feel, feel a little uh, uneasy. They don't feel so protected. You know, Hispanics felt they was under the umbrella of whiteness. Mm, not feeling so white lately. Excuse me. Black women felt they was a protected group. Everybody, white people, Asian people. Hispanic people whipping, whipping the shit out of black women, white feminists leaving black women hanging. 
like not so protected. You know, white men ain't fucking with you. So it's like, ah, you know, Asians looking around like mm, Muslims. Like I thought we was cool, but I see we not. You know, so I'm just saying, I'm out. I'm out.